Hey, Preacher here. Um, happy Mother's Day, first of all. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, and we'll be celebrating that. And remember your mom. Remember tomorrow is a day that's set aside to thank your mother. Be grateful for your mother. And I want to talk about a passage of scripture here in just a second, but I had a couple things I want to get straightened out. Um, tomorrow we have drive-in church. Um, haven't done that yet, so we're doing that tomorrow. Um, don't have an FM converter, so we just, we're just using the sound system, the speakers. It's going to be loud. It's going to be cool. Crack your windows um, so you can hear. A couple questions was asked to me. What what? how things are going to go, whatever. So you'll get there. You'll pull into church. Um, ask that you stay in your vehicles. Don't get out, chit-chat, visit, and so on and so forth. Um, the restrooms will be open if you need to go to the restroom. That's fine, too. Um, got to go, you got to go. Um, but that's, it's, it's to be socially safe so to speak offering I was asked about offering what can, how are we doing that well we is working on getting things set up the other day at the church um, brother Steve and I um, Steve Brandenburg and uh, so we come up with the bright idea I actually did if you think it looks goofy then it's his idea um, if you think it looks cool I did it, uh, but we come up with the idea of instead of trying to pass a plate, you know, and hands touching hands and so on and so forth, all those things, um, we took and had a trash can that's basically a new trash can. Um, we went ahead, washed it out, cleaned it up, put a trash bag in it, put the lid on it. Um, there's a hole in the lid so that when you leave, when you leave, um, if you have offering that you'd like to give, we'll do it as you leave, and there'll be you'll see the can. It'll be we, me and Steve went into the kindergarten class, if you will, and got some sticky letters and made a cool looking sign. And if it looks cool, I did it. Um, if it doesn't look cool, Steve did it, so blame him. But anyways, as you leave, that way we'll keep socially distant, um, so to speak. Uh, I'm ready to get out and talk and visit and yap and love and hug and I'm I'm ready for all those things. Um, but we'll get there. Uh, hopefully, in a couple of weeks, we'll be back in the building and um, worshiping inside. But for tomorrow, we'll come. Just if you can, just stay in your vehicles. Um, we plan on not having a long service but a service to where we're actually finally worshiping together. Um, had some people ask about coming and visiting and, and would love to have you absolutely love it. Um, so anyways, back to mother's day. It's mother's day is the day set aside to just honor our mothers. And so, um, I want to read this passage of scripture to you. It's out of uh, second Timothy. Most mother's day messages are, like Proverbs 31 and all those things. And I'm not going to preach on Mother's Day tomorrow. I I just can't hardly do it. I mean, my mom, she's been gone and went to be with the Lord several years ago. It's, it's hard. I love my mother and I miss her. Uh, for me, tomorrow is probably kind of one of the worst days to have to preach. I dread it. Um, but at the same time, I know that that day was set aside to honor your mothers. Um, so if your mother's still living, um, you love her, you love on your mama. And I mean, you, you honor and cherish her till God calls her home. And, uh, 
there's too many families that are split up and mothers not talking to kids and kids not talking to mothers and uh, had a, that situation a couple years ago a young man about the same age as my son and for whatever reason him and his mother didn't talk and I mean to tell you I got him pulled off to the side was I actually think was in a tractor and I chewed on him I chewed on him and he tried to think up all of these reasons and excuses why him and his mom didn't get along and I said yeah you only got one mama one that's all you get it's your place to fix the problem. And so he didn't really like everything I told him. But today, this period of time, he, when he can, eats lunch with his mom. A lot of times every day he'll eat lunch with his mom. And um, he patched that up. And, and, and just because of disagreements, um, he fixed it, and he's he depends on his mother, and his mother's good still. He's he's almost forty, and his mom still helps him, and and does a good job of it. And so, some of you, when your mom's she's getting older and can't do the things that she likes doing, you step up to the plate. If you're a guy, step up and be a man. Take care of your mom. But I want to read this scripture to you, and um, I won't be on here long because I this is just it's hard for me. But Second Timothy, Paul writes, of course, First Timothy to Timothy, and gives him instruction and what all he needs to do to become a preacher. And he was young, and and so on and so forth. But then he says this in Second Timothy chapter one, and I thought it was pretty cool. I'm not, so I want to read it to you this evening. He says this, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, he says, I'm reminded of your sincere faith, a faith, listen to this, that dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. And then, then Paul says this, and I'm sure dwells in you as well. For this reason... I remind you to fan into the flame the gift of God, which is given to you through the laying on of my hands. For God give us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. And so Paul knew Timothy's upbringing to a point. He knew that grandma taught Timothy what he needed to know about the Lord and raise raise Bible says train a child up and we quote that all the time um, but we even see today that there's there's grandparents literally grandparents raising grandkids because the other parents are either incapable of don't want to or for horrible circumstances aren't allowed to and f for that I'm grateful that grandparents step up and and it's hard. Raising kids is hard. I you know, I love my wife and I tell you, probably she was one of the best mothers I've ever seen at, at as as far as kids. Um and even today that they've called or messaged her or what but, you know, they're coming home tomorrow to see the mom. Uh, make sure we see mom. And Ben, that's my son. He's a mama's boy. And um, he'd probably move back home if he could. That's just, he's a mama's boy. He, he is. Um, but he's got a wonderful wife and a wonderful family. And my daughter, she's she's close to my wife. And they're close. Um, so if you've, if you've got this relationship that's tense, if you will, and... and strained and try to fix it try to fix it um but paul tells timothy he says i'm reminded of i know what your grandma taught you i know what your mom taught you 
And as we get older, and like I said, my, my mom died relatively young, and so um, I did the best I could as long as I could. But when you get older, take care of your mom. Meet the needs of your mom. She raised me. She wiped my butt. She spanked my butt. She chewed my butt. But there was never a time that I ever thought or come in my mind that my mom didn't love me. And so tomorrow, Mother's Day, Tell your mom you love her. Give her a hug. But for us, as we get older, and our parents get older and frail and can't do the things that they once did, you need to remember one thing. If she took care of you for however many years, I don't ever hear my mom grumbling, don't remember it. Didn't hear my dad grumble too much. Raising us, four of us. We wasn't raised up in church, we wasn't brought up in church. But we was brought up to be respectful people. We was brought up as the best they could teach us to when we become an adult, we act like adults. Be responsible like adults. And when your parents are gone, my dad's gone, he died in 1999, and 59 he died, heart attack. I'm 58. I used to think my dad was an old man back then. And now me, I'm I'm an old man. But listen up. Tomorrow if you, if you can't see your mom, call your mom. Tell her you love her. Thank her for being your mom. Send her a card. Give her some flowers. But just show your appreciation for all she's done raising you up. That was an everyday, 24-hour day job. And I don't think I realized it myself. I, I worked a lot, and so I, my wife took care of the kids as far as, and was a great mother, and I just took it for granted, I guess, but as my kids grow up raising kids, you really start seeing how much work it is to be a parent, to be a mother, um, especially, and, um, Ben's wife, a wonderful mother, um, my daughter Emily, a wonderful mother, um, but I think it goes back to what Paul told Timothy. I'm reminded of, you see, the things that m my wife taught my kids. They'll pass those things on down to their kids and so on and so forth. And Grandma taught those kids, and they'll remember those things and pass them down onto their kids and their kids and so on and so forth. But tomorrow's a special day, a good day. We'll have a good time at my house. It'll all, it'll be, all be about, my wife will cook. It's Mother's Day and she's gonna cook. That's, just, that's my wife. But my kids love her, do anything for her. I don't have to worry about if I'm not there, 
her being taken care of. And I'm not bragging on my family, or maybe I am bragging on my family, but that that's a God thing. That's 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 God, the Spirit of God instilled in them to do and be and act and take care of their, their mom. So when tomorrow rolls around and you most of you be going to church somewhere and you'll listen to Mother's Day message, I won't preach it because I can't, I can't get through it. I can't do it. But just remember to thank your mom for what she's done. Tell her how much she means to you. Give her a hug. And then someday down the road, maybe somebody will say, I'm reminded of your grandmother, what she taught you. Your mother, what she taught you. And now I know it's instilled in you. Someday. I'll see you tomorrow at church. God bless. I love you. And I'll see you soon.